Okay, hi, my name's Jamo from a company called Xcase. You can find us at www.xcase.co.uk. Please take the time to have a look at our website and maybe join our Facebook. So we're a importer of rack mount chassis and computer cases and we also get involved in server builds. One of our popular products is this 4U chassis, the Xcase RM424 Pro. And this particular version has an expander backplane. A lot of people are still getting confused about expander backplanes and what you can do with them. We've also got a JBOD on the same setup and again people can get confused about this so I thought it'd be a good video to go over both solutions. So there's a few, a few videos already on the 424 Pro so I won't go over the chassis too much I'll just say that it's got 24 hot swap bays at the front comes with 120mm temperature controlled fans both these systems are currently running, so as you can hear, it's not too noisy. Although not all fans, in fairness, are in them, but it doesn't get any noisier than this. And this particular one has got an expander backplane built into it, as does the JBOD below. So, the beauty of an expander backplane is, well, it saves you money. Whereas before, to run 24 drives, you'd need a 24 port RAID card, or say a 16 port HBA and an 8 port HBA, or some other setup. You can run all 24 drives off a single 4 port RAID or HBA card. So that's great in its own right, but then you can also do other clever things with it. This system we're just doing now, it's got a single Xeon processor fitted and it's got an 8 port LSI 9361 RAID card. So it's got two uh, in internal ports. So we've got one of these going to the back plane to control the 24 drives on the host system and then the second one connects to this uh, little JBOD bracket here we then use an external 8088 connection and cable to another one of the JBOD connections which then connects to the JBOD's backplane and so box A can not only see all 24 drives from the RAID card it can see all 24 drives of the JBOD So the advantage of the JBOD obviously is that you don't have to buy the motherboard and the processor and the memory and so it's a far cheaper solution. And taking into account this is just an 8 port card which is far less money than a 24 port controlling both boxes. So give you a brief idea how it works. Um, in bay 23, top right here, I just put a hard drive in. And if we look at the LSI BIOS, you'll see on PO, which is the host's backplane, it can sees the drive at port 23. If I then took that drive out,
plonked it in drive zero of the JBOD. The drive will disappear from the first unit. And hopefully, shortly, there we go. Let's see, instead of a PO now, it's P1, so that's the second backplane. And there it sees it as zero, which is how it should be for the first drive. So in the RAID setup, you can connect both of these backplanes, no problem, for a RAID 5 or 6 or however you want to set it up. Or you can do a copy of one to the other. So it really is a very cheap way of having a great deal of storage. So hopefully that's cleared up about an expander backplane and a JBOD. Thanks very much for listening. Bye for now.